All right, quick little video. I'm gonna preface this with Pammies are quite inaccurate, so you know we have to take all these numbers with a pinch of salt. However, the numbers coming out of Oman <clears throat> are absolutely outrageous. So we'll go through stage three, which Matteo Jorgensen won. Now this man is 70 kilos. I don't know if he's heavier, but like he's been cracking out some big numbers. So he did 6.4 per kilo for 11 minutes on this climb, but you can see like obviously not very smooth, but still like pretty decent numbers. If you look at the sprint, it was about 900 watts um, all round. Uh, but if we look at some of the earlier stages, it was absolutely wild. Um, so if we look at like stage four, um, oh, sorry, it's actually a later stage, but he was doing like eight watts per kilo for five minutes regularly, which is kind of wild. So if we look at here, peak five minutes here, like 7.8 watts per kilo, like that is big. And if we look at this attack when he was following Lutschenko, nine and a half watts per kilo for almost two minutes, it's pretty wild, isn't it? Like the VAM is kind of like, eh, it does seem reasonable, like two and a half thousand VAM, 11%, like could kind of believe that. This one as well, like, it kind of is like, okay, 6.4 for 11, good, but not like thermonuclear. But if we look at the 30 second sprint, he did like 900 watts at the end of it, which is kind of wild. And obviously not super, super flat. But the creme de la creme, the biggest numbers he, the man did was on the last stage. I, he actually lapped it. I love to see when pros do this, like proper, like, gotta get the good data in. Anyway, Green Mountain, really hilly, um, like kind of, 10.5%, but obviously you can see there's like some good 40k an hour like flat sections. Um, and then before it goes back to like 12, 13%, but 6.6 .6 watts per kilo for 18 minutes is really, really impressive. Um, and also because that's 460 watts. And this is the thing, it's like, let's say you're like a small GC boy, like let's say you're like 52 kilos, you can like, okay, I know it's steep, but 18k an hour, you're probably going to crack out 6.8 to keep up with this. And you might say, Charlie, 6.6 .6 for 18, does, is that right? Now, it's a good question. I'm kind of skeptical. I reckon it could be a bit lower. Um, just, you know, on the sensations of that seems very high. Um, and also it's not super smooth. Like if we look at this last part, like they were messing around and still doing 6.9. And like, this is a big, big attack, 820 watts of 40 seconds. However, we can go on to uh, Rain Padme's ride and he does 6.7 for 18 and a half minutes, 440 watts. And you kind of like 0.1 watts per kilo more, 20 watts, that kind of makes sense. If you look at like how hard the last part was, 6.8 watts per kilo, you kind of like, well, it doesn't seem incorrect. Uh, you know, it, it probably is around that. But anyway, you can look at the stage as a whole. It's actually quite an easy stage. 230 normalized for these boys is like soft tap, heart rate 105. Obviously, those spikes incorrect. You can see that actually the run in for the climb is like decent. Like if you actually look at this, 320 watts for like five and a half minutes. Like, okay, you, that's not that hard. But like the decent spikes, like really do kind of spike the heart rate. You see the heart rate is already at like 150 for this man. I reckon it's max is probably, yeah, it's max 170. So it's like decent effort before you get to the climb. However, the reason why Tour of Oman is kind of good to see is because you can see like the historical climbing times. So you look at Thibaut Pino, he got punted for 50 seconds in eight years. That's pretty wild. Um, like, you know, if we go on, we go on pro cycling stats, we go on Tour of Oman, uh, we can have a look at 2015 and see the deal. Cause I reckon Pino, um, if we go on stage, I don't know, stage is going to be all wrong, sad. Uh, ah, right, here we go. Green Mountain, uh, stage result. Pino was 35 seconds down. Okay. So maybe it's not as mental. Like if you kind of do the calculations here, 35 seconds would be, give you like an 1830, just kind of where Jeffrey Bouchard was. So not mental. Um, but nonetheless, like also maybe not almost the strongest field. I don't know. Like Yancy Van Zrensburg's coming like seventh is kind of wild. Uh, but nonetheless, like you can definitely see the climbing times have improved. And because it's such a steep climb, it's kind of like a good way of seeing. Uh, exactly what the numbers are. Even like 2019, like the Schenker, I'm pretty sure 2019, he won the stage, uh, easily on Jebel al -Akdar. So, yeah, we'll have a look here, stage. Uh, yeah, the Schenker won by like seven seconds against Grelia, who again is like kind of a no-name, but, uh, I obviously don't want to be rude to him, but like kind of is. Um, but yeah, he obviously then like won it, and like that time is way down, like 420 watts for him, it's like 70 kilos, it's like decent, but it's not like, you know, um, absolutely ridiculous. So we look today, actually, it's always, always interesting to see, like, Carlos Verona, no power, but people like them, Langolotti actually has been all right. But yeah, like, it's kind of wild how much better people have got at climbing, I reckon. That's, um, a big, a big one for me. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this quick little video. Um, I'm gonna have to do, make some better quality videos. So I reckon in the next couple of days, you'll see some, some maybe videos with more effort put in than, uh, than these ones. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy. If any other numbers or, and, you know, any other video ideas, do let me know. Um, and I will whack them out.